Hello, so my name's Michael Egan. Uh, I am the business development manager at Scienview. Uh, Scienview is a panel control uh, manufacturer. So we have a, a generic RCP here, very much like a Sony or a Grass Valley RCP, which you might be familiar with. Uh, the whole idea here is to be as generic as possible, so you can shade any camera in any um, in any location. Shade, what does that mean? So, so shade is you know, essentially painting the camera. So you're changing, uh, changing the colours. So you're correcting the colours, making sure that your shots are are really nice for for whatever. If you're doing a broadcast, if you're doing a stream, um, essentially making sure your camera looks the best as possible. Is it like real time color correction? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So essentially, um, if you're if you're looking at your the shot of your camera and you want to adjust the settings, you know, red, green, blue, or contrast, or anything like that, Irish control, that's what you can essentially do, you know, essentially with, with this, changing, changing different, uh, different features. Um, you can see here as changing gain, changing, you know, blue, uh, red, green, blue levels. The whole idea about this uh, panel is it's generic. So with most manufacturers, it's, you know, one panel, so your Sony panel, with a Sony camera. Whereas this can, as you can see here, you've got a Blackmagic, you've got a Sony. What's this Blackmagic? So this is, um, I think it's an Ursa. Um, I'm not 100% yeah. sure on the mo model, but. Um, okay. With a nice big lens? It. We have a nice big lens, but you control it over IP. So all you do is connect an RJ45 here, and you can then connect to this camera, either wirelessly um, or, or direct over a network. And essentially you can then shade this camera, or you can um, shade a small camera here, so like this is a Proton uh, mini camera, or you've got a generic kind of PTZ camera, so uh, Canon, uh, Arri, that kind of thing, um, and then yeah, camcorders and other PTZ cameras. The whole idea is that it's generic as possible. So here, for example, I see right now yeah. that it's set to Sony A7S III. Correct, yeah. And so that means it recognizes what camera is the source? So it, um, you have to manually configure. So there's a user interface, which you then have to do. But then you can then change the cameras. So you can see that goes to a Proton, that's a different model number, that's to the Canon, that's to the Blackmagic. Uh, and you can have, it's unlimited, so you can have unlimited cameras. Uh, is it the HDMI going there, or what is going to it? Uh, so this is HDMI, but this is all IP. So it's not the video, it's, it's camera control. Um, so for example, with this one, it's, um, it's using this device here, because this camera, this is the Rio, uh, which is essentially the remote control element of it. So uh, this connects to the RCP over IP, and then it then converts to either serial data or USB. So this particular camera needs USB. So we just have a, a USB here, USB here, and then that then essentially goes into the camera. So um, you need a camera that can do remote control? Yes. Uh, yeah. How many cameras do this? Um, most, most cameras do. Um, but the problem is most manufacturers or most camera manufacturers don't have their own panel. So for example, Blackmagic don't have a panel. Um, PTZ uh, will have a pan tilt zoom control, uh, but it won't necessarily have a, a color corrector or a shading, shading panel, which is what, what are these do. plugs here? So these are serial. So the, for example, this camera here needs to be controlled by RS-232. Um, so this box converts from IP to RS-232, uh, and then that's power. Uh, you can also control lenses uh, using this box, um, as well as other cameras as well. Nice. It needs to be powered lenses that have the remote control functions. Yes, correct. And then, yeah. uh, where is uh, AV over IP happening? Uh, so there's no AV over IP. Uh, so this is uh, mainly for um, basically the distribution of the uh, or the video is down to our customers, and then we just do the uh, the color correction. The color correction. So yeah. you, you get into the camera settings to do the real-time color correction inside the camera. Correct. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Are some cameras allowing for like preloading a lot or changing, yeah. adjusting on the lots? And do yeah. you manage all this? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So everything on the lot is is dealt, dealt with here. So uh, I think it's camera. Uh, and, uh, sorry. It's scenes. Uh, scenes. So you can basically have multiple scene files. So if you've got a beauty shot, which you're, you've set up perfectly, um, you can then select it there um, and you know, go up to 10, 10 different settings. Um, and then you can then 
play around with the camera. And once you've finished and you want to go back to that beauty shot, um, you can then you can then just go back to the scene file and the LUT and everything and do that. So, and then you basically stream out the LUT uh, like re in real time. Yes. And yeah. you adjust it. You have all these buttons to adjust it nicely. Yeah. And this can just be rack mount mounted into a nice machine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this could be. So you can see here you've got essentially mounting points. So we've just got it on the desk, but it can sit nicely in a desk. You know, you've kind of got a. Uh, I guess a, a cutout, whatever desk you're using, whether it's a vision next to a vision mixer or something like that. Uh, so this would normally be in an outside broadcast truck where you have multiple RCPs um, and then that sits nicely in, into that workflow. Do you have many customers? Uh, yeah, there's quite a few. I mean, Sunview is quite a small business. Uh, there's only eight of us, mainly design engineers. Um, and um, How long yeah, have you been doing this? Uh, about 10 years now. For so this uh, yeah. functionality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was in different forms. So we had a smaller RCP without the joystick. We've recently, about a year or so, uh, released that product with, with the joystick. So it, it's in line with more manufactured panels like the Sony panel or Grass Valley panel. Um, but the Simon is based in Belgium. I'm based in the UK. Um, and essentially, we're, we're well, worldwide. So we sell in the US, uh, into Asia, uh, Europe, obviously the UK as well. So.